What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music, my brand new project right here. Thank you so much for the support. In this video, I'm going to tell you the first five chords you should learn to be able to play millions of your favorite songs. And I have lessons for each of the chords in the playlist below, so check them out. Let's get to the countdown. Chord number one only takes two fingers to play and it is called E minor. It's the easiest chord to learn, but it's also one of the most popular chords used, including uh, starting off songs such as Boulevard of Broken Dreams by Green Day, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd, as well as Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Some of the biggest songs of all time start right with that chord. Chord number two only takes three fingers and they're all on the same fret. It's called A, also known as A major. And you've got, once again, classic songs that start with this chord, including Highway to Hell by ACDC, but it also goes beautifully with that first chord, E minor, to play millions of songs. So get these two under your fingers and you can actually start already playing songs. Chord number three is called G, or G major. And it's the first chord of classic songs such as Knockin' on Heaven's Door, Freebird, Blackbird by the Beatles, basically all the bird songs and a million other songs as well. Uh, it's the next chord in difficulty to learn after the E minor and A major, but all three chords sound great together. If you get them down, start switching and messing around and you will uh, start to sound like you know what you're doing. The next chord is called D major and I like to consider it the team captain of all the guitar chords. It's in songs such as Stairway to Heaven, but it's also the very first chord of Sweet Home Alabama. It's also the first chord of Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. It's the chord that is used the most for one chord songs. There's actually songs that are just D the entire time. And the other cool thing about the D chord is the little modifications, taking your fingers off and adding other fingers, gives you some really complex musical sounds with a real ease of difficulty. And that brings us to the final chord in the list of chords you must know right off the bat. And that is a chord we're gonna call A minor. It's not the saddest chord of all time, but it's maybe runner up. It's a beautiful chord. Think uh, Tangerine by Led Zeppelin, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, uh, Stairway to Heaven. They're all starting with the A minor chord. The other cool thing about A minor is you can take the exact same shape and scoot it up a string, and you have a whole new chord, which would be your next chord for bonus, which would be called E major. So to recap, the five chords I think you should learn first in this order are E minor, A major, G major, D major, and A minor. You're gonna find that millions of songs use those chords, and if you're a beginner and you need direction to have fun and, and make it sound like you're playing music as fast as possible, start with these chords. Don't, don't divert from getting these chords down and starting to strum with them. They will give you a foundation and a little confidence to then build off of from there, learn a few more chords, then a few more chords, then a little melody, a little scale, and if you're like me, 23 years later, you're standing here with the blue background behind you. <laughs> anyway, I'm Marty Schwartz once again with Marty Music. Thank you so much. You can learn all those chords in the playlist below. Appreciate your support. And if you have any suggestions for, for these types of videos, go ahead and leave it in the comments as well. And I thank you, and I will see you again real soon.